What's up YouTube, FT Dub here bringing you another tutorial. This time it's going to be a Photoshop tutorial. I've had a lot of requests about how, how to do the little page curl I had on my channel, so this is pretty much what this tutorial is going to be about. And this is an example of what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's create a file, go to new, make it 1280 by 720. I keep the background contents white. And then uh, let's unlock the layer. Okay, and then uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my gradient tool, make sure the first one is selected, and whatever color you would like, go to the top around the middle, hold shift and drag it down to about the middle, and you guys a nice little fade gradient onto there. Okay, then what we're going to do is grab our rectangular marquee tool, make a nice little rectangle right here in the middle. And we're going to create a new layer. Click OK. Make sure our, our color is changed to white. We're going to grab our brush. Grab, uh, make it around 300. Hardness to zero. Make sure your opacity is turned all the way up. All right here in the top corner of your marquee tool selection. Click that change your opacity around 30 percent and change our size of our brush let's make it 500 looks about right and just click that on there right there nice little fade and, uh, hit control D to deselect and we're just going to drag this up into the corner up here now make sure our layer is selected and you want to go to edit transform and warp you can just grab the corner click and hold and just pull it down and that's a nice little page curl right there just click up here on apply and nice little page curl you got going on and what you want to do is make sure your brush is selected to the one brush the very first one grab your pen tool and go up here to the top of the curve, select that point, and go down here to the point of this and just drag it out until it meets up about the same. All right, there it works. This ain't got to be perfect. Then you want to hit Alt and hold it and click right there at that point of that anchor. <clears throat> then you go over here to this side at the end of the curl. Drag it out again until it matches up once again. And there we go. Go to the anchor point, click, click and hold Alt, and click again. And then pretty much what you're going to do is just keep clicking around, make a nice little area, box area around this. Right click inside of it and make selection. There you go. And create a new layer. Click OK. Go back to your brush. And we want to make this probably around 150. At least that's what I'm going to use for this example. And change the color to black. Once we get on there, change our opacity to around 50. 50% 50 should work fine. And just drag color this out just like that and then you want to grab your brush tool make sure it's around a hundred with uh, the hardness about to zero and you want to make this a nice little fade going on you don't really want too much up here on this side like that and then make it like a shadow of the point just something like that <clears throat> and then hit control D to deselect you a nice little page curl okay and then what you want to do is grab your pen tool make sure your brush is back to the one brush again 
grab your pen tool and what you want to do is click there go about to the top of your curve and curve that about to that size click your anchor hold alt and click it again get to the top of this curve and try to match this up the best as you can get to the anchor point hold alt click and same thing once again down here then curve the match anchor point alt click and just make a little box outside of your image just like that right click inside make selection click OK and then click your main first layer that you had and then just press delete on the keyboard control D and you got a nice little curve going on a nice little page pill and then what you want to do is you want to create a new layer click OK and you want to grab your rectangle tool down here your shape tool change it to whatever color you want I'm just going to do a gray I'm just going to it underneath and I'm just going to drag this out to fill in that area like that right click on that layer and then rasterize the layer I'm going to drag this layer underneath of the red and I use that and I also want to create a new layer change the color to black once again and grab my brush and make this around 200 diameter hardness zero and I'm just gonna brush on a nice little shadowing effect and there's a little thing little corrections you can do to take out those you know just delete those like how I showed you before with the pen tool and delete and get the nice edges curved properly but that's uh, pretty much how I did the page curl on my channel if this helped out in any ways please uh, check out my channel subscribe uh, leave any likes comments below um, if you have any requests for tutorials just message me on YouTube and yeah thanks for watching